Hello everyone, welcome to our video tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how we can group items on a report. So we are going to use one of the reports that we created in our previous tutorials and that is November report. However, to create uh, or to group the items on the report, you have to open your report in a layout view. So to do that, let's change our report to layout view. So this is how our report is displayed when it is opened from this view. So in this tutorial, we are going to group our items basing on this field for district. So to do that, we are going to this format tab and then under grouping and totals groups, we shall use this option for group and sort. So we shall click on that option. When we click on that option, we have some features added to our report. Since we are interested in grouping, we shall click on add a group. So when we click on add a group, then this information is again displayed for us. So it is from here that we are supposed to specify the field that we want to use to group our items. And in our example, we want to use district. So before I click on district, let's have a look at how our report is arranged. So having looked at this arrangement of our report, now we can click on district. So when we click on district, the arrangement of our report changes. Here we have got district, then here we have the first one on the top as a patch. Then here we have details of some of the contents in this, this report. And these details fall under this group for a patch. So these individuals we see they fall under this district a patch. Then these ones we see they fall under Kasese. Then if we can scroll down then these two individuals and their details these ones fall under this district for Luero. Then MPG uh, has these two individuals as well. So that's how we can group items in a report. Then you may want to continue and perform some calculations. For instance, I'm scrolling to go up. For instance, you, you want to get the wage total for each district so that they get these values get totaled up and we see the total just below here then also the total for Cassese and Luero and so on. So to do that, we shall select this field for wage total. So when we click on that field for wage total, we shall go to this totals option. So when we click on totals option, we have this option for summing and other options as we can see. But our interest is on getting the total for these values for each district so that we see how much is spent on wage total. So we shall click on sum. So when we click on sum and view below here, we have the total for these individuals under a patch. Then Kasese, we see, instead of the values, we see the pound signs. So this is an indication that this field is not wide enough to accommodate the values. That means we shall go in on the border, then we try to widen that field. So when you widen the field and we see under Kasese, then the total is there. Let's scroll below. And we see for Luero, Luero is also there. If you add 300,000 to 400,000, then you get 700,000. Then let's also see for Mpg. For Mpg, it is there. 
730,000. Then what we see below here is the overall total. If you want also to get the total for already paid, so we shall select there and then we go to totals option. From totals option, we shall select this sum option. Then we shall see the figures calculated and displayed below. We can scroll down to check for the rest of the districts. Here they are. Then where we see the pound signs, if I can scroll down, it means that the values are too large to be accommodated in the cells. So what we are supposed to do is to enlarge on the field. So I will use this area as well. Click hold and then enlarge. If we, if we can scroll down to check, then we see the figures displayed for us. So this figure is for all the three, all the, I mean all the four districts that we have. So this is the total amount for already paid. Then this is the total, grand total amount for amount for the wage total. As we can see from that preview. That's how we can group the items on a form or on a report. And also, this is how we can go ahead and perform some calculations while working with the report. Hope you found this video tutorial helpful to you. That's it for now. See you in our next tutorial.